autographs. Some of these guys have a stake in the chase, others do not. And Hermie Sadler is standing by right now with one driver who still has an outside shot at making this year's chase. Hermie? Well, Martin Truex still does have an outside shot at making this chase. In the last couple weeks, you guys have really started to come into your own. A fourth at Watkins Glen, a second at Bristol. What's been the big turnaround? You guys are a factor to win each and every week now. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just uh, a lot of little things coming together. You know, Chad's done a great job since he's been coming in on crew chief, and we just continue to work on that relationship. But the biggest thing, I think, is just uh, everybody at MWR working on our cars or working on our Napa Toyotas to get them better. And, uh, you know, we haven't had any bad luck either lately, so that certainly helps. But uh, we've had a good a good stretch, and hopefully uh, we keep it going here. We've got a really good car this weekend so far, and uh, I really, you know, enjoy racing here, so looking forward to it. And let's talk about Chad Johnson, your new crew chief. We see a lot of teams make changes with crew chiefs during the course of the season. Sometimes it works out better than others, but it seems like you guys kind of stabilize things a little bit, and now that relationship is starting to pay dividends. Yeah, it is, and I think, you know, we'll continue to get better, you know, continue to learn each other, and, and that communication is the biggest thing that's helped. It's gone really, really well, and he, he understands what I'm looking for and has a lot of confidence in me, and, and, and I have a lot of confidence in him. So that always goes a long way. There's no questions of, about uh, people doing their job and, and, and pushing hard to, to get their job done. So uh, it's been fun to work with him, and uh, it, it's been fun to drive fast Napa cars every weekend. And, uh, you know, I think we got another one here, like I said. So uh, the biggest thing for us is just, you know, get some consistency. Uh, the mile and a half have been a struggle for us. This has probably been our biggest hurdle was coming here. And, uh, you know, we, we brought some new stuff, and so far it seems to be working out pretty good for us. Now, you on, are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter. Well, tell us what your, how fans can reach to you. At Martin Truex Jr. 56. All right. Well, we like the fans to get involved on Twitter as well. And we had a question from a fan that says, what has been the biggest struggle you've had this year and looking forward to next year? What's the one thing you're looking forward to getting changed to have another run at a championship maybe in 2012? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest two things for us is the mile and a half, like I talked about a minute ago. We've been just really, really hit or miss on those. So trying to figure those out and get our downforce cars better is a, is a big thing that we've been working on. You know, like we talked about, we brought a car here that's that's better and different than what we've had. Uh, and the other thing is DNS. We've had a bunch of those this year. A lot of them, not of our doing, you know, wrecks and things like that. But uh, a little bit of bad luck out of the way would help help well, go along. Well, that's Martin Truex. And JR, you can take it back from now, but I'm anxious to talk to Martin Truex Jr. to see about getting an invite to his golf tournament again this year. They left me out last year. I'm trying to yeah. figure out why. You were invited. Bring lots of money. <laughs> There's one way to get involved in anything, Herbie. Just bring lots of money. These That's days. good. Go ahead. Ride racing. So true. So true. Let's take